Well, hi, and welcome to another episode of my Leveraging Your Voice podcast. And today I have a guest who is a client of mine, a client who's graduating from the five pack series that he's been doing with me. Evans, why don't you just introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Evans Kweku Ajiman, and I'm a Ghanaian, and I've been in the US for two years now. And currently I'm learning nursing and I want to be a nurse after uh, my school. So that's what I'm doing now. That's awesome. Now you found me online. You saw an ad or something like that. And somehow the ad connected with you and you reached out to set up a discovery call. What happened when you saw that ad? What made you connect with me after seeing that? Okay, so when I saw the ad, uh, personally, I've been struggling with being able to express my thoughts and feeling heard when I contribute in a group for discussion. So when I saw the video, it was more like uh, something I felt was going to address what I've been struggling with, which is um, making my voice heard in group meetings and making my voice heard when we are having discussions. And so the video just clicked with me that there's a cause that I need to give it a try and see what comes out of me after this program. That's awesome. Now, one of the things when you got on that discovery call with me, we were chatting and I was asking you some questions and I had asked you something like, well, how do you feel when people are not hearing you? And when people weren't hearing you, you had said, well, they asked me to repeat myself a lot. So, what, 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 talk a little bit about what you answered to that question. So, how do you feel when that's happening to you? Yeah. So, in most circumstances, the way I speak and people don't really understand me, first, it, it really gets me a little bit intimidated. And also because of that, it mostly makes me withdraw and kind of don't want to talk anymore, go mute, you oh. know. So, I was always thinking about having or getting a communication program to take just to improve on myself. And fortunately for me, I met this program and it's been good so far. It's been really really good to me. That's awesome. Now, listen, when I was talking to Evans and he said, I mute myself. That's the first time anybody's ever said that to me. And I wrote it down and I use that all the time now. That's a really powerful statement. And I had asked him, well, when you mute yourself, how does that make you feel? And he said, well, I actually feel depressed. You remember that? Yep. Yeah. Now, being an action taker, Evans, after the discovery call was nearing its end, said, yep, I want to do it. And he signed right up and got started. Now, we did our first lesson. It was really soon after that discovery call. And we really worked on your breathing, if you recall that first lesson. And a week later, Evans came back for a second lesson and he was smiling, he was very happy. Now, what was your report to me when you came to just your second lesson? You had only one lesson, you came to your second lesson. What was your report? Yeah, so now I felt that when I speak, people wanted to hear me because my voice was kind of clear now. People could really understand stop me when I'm talking before because before when I'm speaking from the expressions of people's face you could you could you could know that they don't really they are not really listening you know but after getting to know these techniques I learned from this program these communication techniques that I learned from our first meeting I realized I even got a confidence to to express myself and to express my thoughts and people also enjoyed listening to me. And some will even go ahead to ask me questions just to get, keep the conversation going. That's and, um, awesome. That's awesome. Now, Evans, when he, when he came on that discovery call, he had said to me, you remember this, I want you to fix my accent. You remember that? And my comment was, well, I don't want to fix your accent because you sound beautiful. Your, your voice... 
you're from Ghana and you sound beautiful from where you're at. Your accent's beautiful. So we don't want to change that. But what we want to do is make you able to speak so that people can hear what you're saying with that beautiful accent. Have we achieved that for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel that has been achieved. And I feel right now I, I know how to keep improving on myself and on my voice because I know this is not going to be a one-time thing. It's something that I have to keep on repeating and I have to keep on doing. And right now I don't feel lost because before I really feel lost when communicating because I'm not very sure if people are interested in listening to me and all those kind of things. But now I'm so confident because I have communication techniques or communication tools that helps me to know that I'm communicating well. Yeah, so I feel it's been a good cause for me. It's been a good program for me. That's awesome. Would you recommend it to your friends? Yeah, I would do. I would strongly do. I would strongly recommend to my friends because I believe in all aspects of careers or all aspects of life, communication is key. And even in workplaces, if you want to climb higher on the career ladder or on the professional ladder, you need to improve, you need to improve on your communication. And so I recommend to my friends, if not, I might be doing them more harm than good because I know how much I benefit from this communication program. And so I know what they are also going to get if they are to take this program. Yeah, so I will surely recommend to my friends. That's awesome. Now, we'll bring this little episode to an end here. I want to thank you for sharing with us, Evans, your experience in the program. I'm so proud of you, so happy for the progress that you've made. I love that you recognize it's a lifelong thing. I want to always get better at communication. You have the tools to do that. It's fantastic. We can always connect over time to help you keep focused on your direction. So if you run into trouble, that's always possible. But it's great. I want to just, again, thank you for sharing a little bit with us. What would you leave folks with? Any final thoughts to, to, to leave folks with? Yeah, so the final thing I want to say is that communication is very important. And funny enough, communication, most of people are not born with it. You need to learn. You need to be trained on how to communicate well. You know, so when it comes to pause on communication, I think people should, shouldn't give it a second thought because it's more like a vehicle for your life. The well you communicate, the, the much more you can, you can do in your life. The better you can communicate, the, 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 the good connections you can create with people. So I want to say that if anybody is to see this course, you don't need to even think twice about taking it because I'm pretty sure you like it. And I'm pretty sure that at the end of the program, you'll get to know the difference between how you spoke before and how you are speaking after the program. So awesome. I recommend this program to everybody who will see this video. That's awesome. Just Thank you. Now I'm going to tell you, when I met Evans, he's talking and we're listening and we understand him and we enjoy that beautiful accent. But when I first met you, that wasn't the case, was it? I was asking you, can you repeat that? Because it was hard to tell, but now I'm just listening, soaking it in. And it's beautiful for many reasons. One is because you're a smart person and I love to hear what you have to say. And I'm so glad I can hear it now. So Evans, thank you for this little, this little uh, sharing time. And mm -hmm. folks, thanks for joining us here today. Always appreciate you joining us. And until next time, be well.